everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be recreating a couple of cards that Design Team member Kiwi created using the new July 2017 release products. This is part of our free online classes that we do every single month with the release, so if you're not familiar with those, we release five different card designs that you can recreate by watching the videos or downloading the PDF instructions. So for Kiwi's class, she created some cards using some emboss resist. So we're going to be using the new handwritten happiness stamp set, and we're going to create two cards that are going to use the stamp set to do an emboss resist technique. So if you haven't done it before and you're not familiar with this technique, emboss resist is simply stamping with a sticky ink. So I'm using Versamark, which is a clear ink that's just really super sticky. And then you just put embossing powder over top of that inked image and you heat set it with a heat gun. And then what that does is it heat sets the embossing powder and depending on what kind you're using will give you different looks. So for this card here, the whole card base is made out of watercolor paper and I'm doing some embossing with silver embossing powder. So I added the ink first, I stamped the sentiment, and then I covered it completely with the embossing powder, and now I'm just taking my heat tool and heating that up. Now I did keep my stamping on the textured side of the watercolor paper, so if you do do that, you just really wanna make sure you use a lot of ink and press down really well, just to make sure that all of that inked um, image transfers, especially with this sentiment because it's very intricate, you just really wanna make sure that you get all of that stamped image onto the card base. So we're going to do two different cards with two different emboss resist techniques. So in, rather than kind of doing them separately, I'm going to do all the embossing at once. So I have another card base here. This is just a white, regular, smooth card base. And I stamped another one of the sentiments from that handwritten happiness stamp set onto this one as well. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, but this time rather than silver, I'm using white embossing powder. So it's kind of hard to see on camera just because it is white on white, but you will see it more when we get to the technique on that card. So for this first card here, we're going to take two different ink colors. I have Razzleberry and Purple Rain, and I'm going to take a paintbrush, and I have kind of a wide paintbrush here, and I'm going to use some water, and I have a paper towel beside me as well, and we're just going to kind of swipe the color down from the top of the card down towards the bottom. Now, I have the paper towel there just because you don't want your paintbrush super, super wet. If you do, it's just going to kind of bleed all over the card front, and we kind of want to have the look of the paint stroke. So you can kind of see at the bottom, I have the little strokes that the paintbrush is leaving on the card front and that's achieved by making sure that the paintbrush is a little bit drier rather than really really wet. So I did the pink all across the front and then I added some purple to the edges here and then I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit more over top and then once that's done I'm going to let that one dry and we're going to move on to this one. So for this card, we're gonna use the birthday balloon stencil and we're gonna do some direct inking onto the card. Now I'm adding the stencil right over top of that sentiment, which is really hard to see on the camera because it is the white on white, but you're gonna see as I start to add the ink that that sentiment is going to resist the ink and it's going to stand out from the balloon. I'm making sure to add a lot of post-it tape around that balloon image because we don't want any of this color to kind of go into the open areas on the stencil. So I'm just making sure to cover all of those up and then I'm just going to use an ink blending tool and start to slowly add ink to this balloon area. I have a little piece of scratch paper there beside me and I just like to use that to kind of dab off the ink onto that piece as I get started just because you don't want a ton of ink on the ink blending tool until you have a nice blend going. Then once I have a lot of ink and it's fully saturated, I can go direct from the ink pad to the paper. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that stencil and this is my favorite part because we're left with this beautiful balloon. We have this really fun kind of texture look to it because we let some of the ink stay a little bit lighter and then we have that gorgeous sentiment that's kind of peeking out from the balloon now since we did the emboss resist technique. This never gets old for me. I love seeing the image kind of come through the ink as you add it. So for the string, I just drew that on freehand with a black pen, and now we're going to add a little bit of splatter to each of these finished cards. So I have the same color that I used on the balloon for this one. I put it on my craft sheet and added a paintbrush with water, and I'm just kind of flicking this over top of the card design. And the wetter you get the paintbrush, the more splatter you're going to kind of get off of that paintbrush, so it just depends on how much splatter you want. So once I had that one done, I'm going to go back to this original one now that it's completely dry. And I'm going to take the same two colors that I used to do the paint strokes on the front, but this time we're just going to do some splatter just to add a little bit more fun to the card. So I'm taking that same paintbrush that I used on the other one, and I'm just going to dip it into the two colors, and then once again just kind of tap it over the card front and let that splatter kind of fall onto the card. 
The purple ink stayed pretty subtle when I did the splatter and I really love how this one turned out. And then when I got to the pink, I didn't put quite enough water into the color before I did the splatter. And you can see now I have this really vibrant dark pink splotches. I'm okay with it, but I definitely think I would have preferred it a little bit lighter when I added the splotches on there. So just keep that in mind if you want your splotches of color to be a little bit lighter, then definitely add more water before adding them to your card front. So I just kind of went around and made sure I had some at the bottom as well and then that's going to complete the splatter on this card. So I have two different cards that we've done the emboss resist technique. Very simple, easy, quick to do, but they're a lot of fun and they have this really great detail on them with all this ink splatter and then we have the stenciling as well as the painting directly onto the card. So thank you so much to Kiwi for creating these cards for us to redesign in today's class. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.